Get it. Get it. Get in there. What is it? Hey everyone, welcome to Saturdays with the Timmermans. I'm John Timmerman. And I'm Lindsay Dillon Timmerman. And happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. If you celebrate. Um, or happy holidays to everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously it's Easter, it's Sunday, it's not really Saturday, but we try to squeeze these in when we can and when we have something interesting to talk about. We do have something interesting to talk about, and it's, that is Jackson Jovi has our brand new website. It's officially live. We've been working on it for a while and um, pretty proud of it. It's pretty exciting, so go check that out. Yeah, it looks awesome. JacksonJovi.com, check it out. But today we wanted to talk about something that's slightly related, and that's uh, how when you own a business or you're looking for results, that it's important to have patience when you're trying to get to your goals. It can be frustrating if you if you don't have any patience uh, when trying to get to the goal. It can be frustrating. Well, especially in today's day and age because I feel like we all kind of fall into this kind of, I don't know, this, this habit or this pattern where, you know, we're kind of observing other people around us. So whether that's building a business or setting a goal and accomplishing it. And we think that if we put a little work on, work in, then all of a sudden we should just be there. We should just be able to accomplish the thing that we the goal that we set out to accomplish, and, and that's just not true. So I think we're very excited today to talk about the importance of patience, especially around building a business, and any other goal that you set, it, it certainly takes time. Yeah, and to give you some context, when we started Jackson Jovi, you know, we were really uh, excited, really hungry, we wanted to grow as fast as possible, we were yeah. like, oh, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah. We set our goals, and you know, if you started a business before or been part of a growing business, you know that setting goals before you actually have any data or anything to go off of is sort of a shot in the dark, right? You, you can set goals of what you think you want to do, but then you, you get in the thick of it and you're like, oh, this is not right. We need to readjust. So we were talking about funding and yeah. investment and, you know, um, trying to build our team and, and grow, 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 grow. And then fast forward to t today, and Lindsay and I had a conversation a few months ago, probably, uh, maybe a little bit, little bit longer than that, and realized that that's not the best way to grow this business for the reasons of, you know, we wanted to build a really loyal customer base and make sure that we understood each and every one of those people to make sure that we're putting out a, an amazing product that's making people happy, that's high quality, versus just trying to sell, 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 sell and losing uh, losing track of the reason that we started this company. I'm happier and I think feel like it's going to be better for us in the way that we want to run this business now that we've decided to not take on funding so that we're pushing to make sure that we're keeping forth those those core values that were really important to us like John just said with you know building building really high quality genuine relationships with every customer. I can definitely say that's something that's been really important to me. Uh, we kind of divided up uh, the duties um, and the responsibilities within the company. Um, and so I really am in charge of all like customer relations, any orders that come in, fulfilling those orders. Every customer that places an order has a conversation with me and or um, has like one-on-one -on -one attention and that was really important to me um, to make sure that every customer feels like they're being heard they're as happy as possible and we have you know 99.9 or something percent you know positive reviews on our website which is really important you know and, and we're really proud of that and i would say you know yes we do get exchanges or some returns if it's just not the right fit or you know if somebody needs a different size you know that's part of it you know it's not just going to the store people need to try on different sizes and that's great um, but I would say we have like a 95% success rate that customers that buy the jeans end up keeping their order because they're happy with our product, which makes me feel really good, you know, and it's kind of continued validation that we, of course, think our product is amazing and we are really excited about it. Um, 
but I think that that's something that really kind of goes back to the ethos of what is important to us when it comes to running our business. Yeah, and we're we're starting to finally see, uh, you know, all of this hard work and customer service, yeah. and our dedication to a great product, really finally pay off. Last year, we dedicated our our entire year to going to events. You know, we've told you guys that before. We went to events. And we wanted to put people in the jeans. We wanted to fit them. We wanted to make sure that they fit right. The product was great. And we did that all, all last year. And we sold a lot of jeans at the event. But we didn't really get any online sales. So we'd go to an event and make, you know, we'd sell 3000 all the way up to $9,000 worth of jeans at these events. And it was fantastic. Great, yeah. great feedback. That's Hardly great. anybody said, like, yeah, these just aren't for me. I mean, you know, we, we of course, got people that just weren't, wasn't the right body type, but they still loved the idea. They still love mm -hmm. the, the quality of the, the, the product. And then fast forward to today. And, you know, we just finished up our best two weeks of non sale online sales. That doesn't sound right. Non like discount or special, right. you know, whether it be like we did some specials for the open workouts where there was a discount. So we had two weeks where there was no sale going on, no discounts, no specials, and we got the most sales uh, that we've ever gotten in the two weeks. Mm -hmm. Now, to bring it down to real life, you know, we're at six to seven jeans per week now, this mm -hmm. past two weeks. Online sales. Online sales, mm -hmm. right? So that may not seem like a lot, but if you look back to last year, we weren't getting any online sales. We were only getting sales when we were there to talk to somebody, to mm -hmm. put them in the jeans, to like do some custom hemming for their jeans, things like that, and they loved it. We're now at the point where random people from around the world are coming to our website, finding us, and buying our jeans. Like, Even though six or seven jeans per week doesn't seem like a lot, any of you out there that have started a business uh, and have grown it to something successful, you remember this time right here where it's like really exciting because it's validation that people love your product that have no idea who you are. Yeah. And that's a huge step. So that's yeah. what we're bringing back to the topic. That's what we're talking about with patience is that when we first started, we saw this like, like five years down the road, like, oh my gosh, this is what we want to be. At least me, I could, this is, speaking for me, like I didn't necessarily see this spot where it's like this little like twist where now people are buying the jeans, loving the jeans, um, leaving us five star reviews on the website. I mean, these are people from Canada and Australia and, and the France, like they're all over the place and the United States, obviously. Uh, but it's really exciting. And I'm glad we had the patience yeah. to not go and try to take on, you know, $500,000 in investment and, yeah. and, you know, not try to go faster because I don't know, we might've skipped over this part. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, of course, you know, there's a chance we were a little biased, but I think th that's true for anybody that when you genuinely feel like you have a great concept, a great product, you know, in the beginning, kind of like my naive, you know, thinking or my, maybe my rose colored glasses thinking, I just kept feeling like... Well, if we could just get people to the website, or if we can just get this ad in front of someone, of course they're going to see how amazing it is. And, you know, now kind of looking back, I know that's just because I believe in it so much. And now, you know, to, to every customer that hasn't met us, hasn't had a conversation with us, you know, I think before it took time to build that trust, you know, and, and you know, we might be one ad among a thousand that they see that day. And so I think, you know, patience in the long run of continuing to send out your message and create a high quality product and create great customer service is, is something that I certainly have learned a lot from that, you know, patience is important and things take time and it takes a lot of time to build lasting trust you know, not just instant trust or like a flash in the pan or this looks cool and trendy. And then we've all gotten products out there that, you know, when you receive it in hand, it's like, ugh, this isn't, this isn't what I thought or this isn't what I paid for. Yeah. yeah. And that's so disappointing. And, you know, I, I think that's something that now we just realize we have to be patient because when people receive it, you know, again, I, I think every time that we hear a customer is incredibly satisfied both with their experience of buying through the website, their customer service, and feeling helped and supported, and the product is great. 
you know, that's just like one more like notch of reminder for me that yes, like we just have to stay the course and we just have to keep going. Mm -hmm. And so it's, yeah, I, I would agree. I think we're at a really exciting time and, and I think that's why I was excited to talk about patience because of course in the beginning I did not feel necessarily very patient and I think now looking back, you know, um, you know, fighting for, you know, every conversation and every genuine contact is something that has taken time, but it's been probably the most, one of the most important things. Um, and so I think that's what's been the most exciting. So taking on funding and going big right off the bat isn't always the way to go. Yep. It is possible to go slow, to build a company out over 5, 10, 15 years. In fact, if you ask most founders, entrepreneurs, business owners, successful ones out there, it's probably the better way to go, um, you know, for longevity. So stay patient and have a good Easter. Let's go! Work, Work out! out. <laughs> Let's do it! So we decided that since it's Easter Sunday and we're headed to brunch soon, plus Lindsay and I both had a heck of a workout week, so we're both pretty sore. Yeah. So we decided to do a little recovery walk with the dogs in the yeah. backyard. Yeah, good boy. You jump down from there? Come on, let's go. 